is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? And I'm back here on Shross with another Madden rebuild and this one is going to be the Cleveland Browns. So the Cleveland Browns are probably one of the more exciting teams in the NFL, at least going into this season. They have underperformed a little bit up until week three, but it is still a very fun team and I'm excited to rebuild them today. Apparently they're really good in Madden, so if I don't want a championship today, that might be embarrassing. They have Kareem Hunt as the fullback. Okay, interesting there. But yeah, we have obviously Baker Mayfield, so we don't have to worry about quarterback here. Baker is 24 years old. He's 83. He could be a 90 by the end of this, so we're good there. Running back, we do have Nick Chubb, who's an 85. He'll only keep improving. Uh, we do have Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham Jr. Could use another receiver. Don't know if I like Jarvis Landry that much. Uh, he's 26. I have been watching Bengals Rebuild, so kind of know what to do now. And uh, a couple of people have been giving me more tips on Twitter and in the comments saying that if there's a player that's 29, 30, 31, definitely look to trade them. Like JC Treader, how old is he? He's 28. Could look to keep him for a year. Joel Batonio is 27. Uh, Greg Robinson is awful, so we are going to need a left tackle. But obviously, David Njoku is really young. So we're going to tight end. Offense, looking at this, we're definitely going to need right side of the O-line. Probably left side of the O-line. Everything kind of about left guard. Um, another receiver. And that's pretty much it for uh, offensive upgrades. Defense, uh, we have Demarius Randall, uh, who's really good at free safety. Linebacking core looks a little bit thin. Uh, same with strong safety. Dave. Is this Morgan Burnett? Oh, God. He was so bad for the Steelers last year. I feel bad right now. Uh, Terrence Mitchell, I believe he was a former chief. Obviously, we're going to look for another corner to pair along with uh, Denzel Ward. Uh, we have Grant, Greg, Greg, Greedy Williams. Uh, he's a corner. I think he was drafted in the second round. I'm going to put him up to the second one or the second quarter spot. And then we have uh, Larry Ogan Joby. Uh, he's 25. Uh, him and Sheldon Richardson will be our D tackles. We have Olivier Vernon and obviously Moss Carrot, one of the best players, uh, defensive players in the NFL. So, and obviously Denzel Ward, love Denzel Ward. So, yeah, we're going to look for strong safety, another corner um, and linebacking core. And then special teams obviously have to. This, these are pretty important. Porton going to look to try to get a kicker and punter in free agency. So, uh, yeah, uh, maybe we could look to move like Christian Kirksey. I mean, he's probably not 30 yet. Yeah, he's 27. Not many 30-year-olds here. I mean, if I can get anything for freaking Morgan Burnett. How old is uh, Olivier Vernon? He's 28. Don't really want to move on from a lot of these guys. How old is Terrence Mitchell? 27. I mean, if I can get a high pick for Burnett and Mitchell, I might as well try. All right, I think I'm going to be trading Kareem Hunt and Morgan Burnett to the Bills for their first round pick. Actually, I do want to see if any other teams, maybe like the Bucks, they might be a little bit worse than actually giving their first round pick. Damn, they're projected to have the 20th pick. I feel like the Bucks are worse than the Bills. Damn, so they declined that, but I kind of want their first round pick. All right, uh, just give me like your seven. I'll, I'll throw in a seventh here, and they should accept that. Really, bro? All right, so I'll throw in a sixth. Uh, then they should accept this, I hope. If they don't, then I'm finding a new team. Okay, so we do pick up a first from the uh, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just simulate to the end of the year. If we do well, we do well. If we don't, we don't. Uh, uh, obviously, it perks with having a young quarterback. We don't have to pay them. I don't think we'll have to pay Baker at least till next year. So we'll see about that. Uh, any free agents that are big at the moment. Um, Demarius Randall, JC Treader. Okay, definitely going to look to bring back Randall. So I'm going to look to give him a pretty big deal. Uh, we'll give him 7 mil, 4.5. Okay, so we should accept that, I hope. Uh, okay, so we do get Randall back. Nice. JC Treader, we should probably look to bring back too. Um, he's not great, but I can always probably move him. He's in a line, and then we will be left with a little bit of money in free agency. All right, so I'll give him that later on. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Okay, so I have simulated to the end of the year, and it's looking like we did not make the playoffs as we are not playing a wild card. Uh, weekend and we went nine and, and we didn't win the division. We went nine and seven. So uh, we could just check out the stats here. I'm okay with not making the playoffs in year one. I'm expecting to make the playoffs next year though. So Baker was good, wasn't great. He did have a lot of interceptions, almost an interception per game. But 26 touchdowns. We're hoping for a little bit more. But hey, I'll take that out of Baker. Hopefully, he just improves next year. Nick Chubb, 56 um, rushing yards a game not great but uh looking to improve the o-line will hopefully help that odell and jarvis landry 2000 yard receivers gonna look to get a third receiver obviously we have njoku who's very good uh sacks mm, wow Ray robinson only gave up three sacks I find that hard to believe uh tackles jill sherbert chobert he's a free agent might like to bring him back um 
And then sacks to Garrett. Yeah, 14 and a half for him, 10 and a half for uh, Vernon. Yeah, I got to make sure we actually go to the playoffs next year. So uh, let's get into this offseason. All right, so we are advancing here to the offseason. The uh, Seahawks beat the Chargers in the Super Bowl. Okay, so I have to go back and I do have to sign uh, JC Treader. He's a 78. Um, like I said, I might look to trade him if we do get him anyway. So he is. Okay, so we do get him back. I do want to bring back uh, Joe Schobert, uh, who is an 81 overall. Okay, yeah, once we kind of bring him back, we are going to have, like, no money. Um, so we do bring him back, which is good. Ricky Seals Jones, he's a backup tight end. Richard Higgins, huh, all right. So what I might do is just try to bring back Higgins and Jones. And then, hmm, we might not be able to bring back both of them. Higgins might not even accept this. He does, okay. And then Jones, uh, we'll see if he accepts. Mm, we might have to lowball him because we have, like, no money here. Um, yeah, we don't even have enough money. So we won't sign him. I might look to see who's making a boatload of money. I mean, Jarvis Landry is making a lot of money, right? Is he really worth to be making all this money? We'll see if I can maybe move him. Um, I do want to see if it's in free agency, though, or in yeah, free agency. Uh, I like how in the NFL free agencies before the draft, I was kind of hoping, or I kind of wish the NBA went that route. Uh, Chris Jones, uh, we don't need him, but he would be a nice pickup. Kendall Farr, oh my God, I would love. Um, all right, let me see. Uh, would he even be worth to trade Jarvis Landry? He had a good year, but we know Jarvis Landry is like the check down king. Uh, so, yeah, Odell's making a boatload of money. Um, yeah, Jarvis Landry's making a lot of money. So is Richardson. Uh, he's 29. Do I maybe look to trade away Sheldon Richardson? Oh, oh wait, we have two first-round picks. I forgot. Wow, so our pick is the 19th, but the Bucks pick is the third pick. That's very nice. So what I'm going to try to do here right now is trade our sixth and seventh round picks and Sheldon Richardson for Quinn and Nelson. Uh, damn, so that didn't go through. Uh... Because Quan Nelson only is like a, he has a lot less of a cap hit. Um, and I'll throw in next year's fifth. Uh, let's see if they accept that. Mm, still really close. I don't really want to, I guess I'll throw in this year's fifth. Oh, we don't have a fifth this year. Um, what about if I threw in one of my thirds and I'll give you, instead of the sixth. Okay, so yeah, we traded Sheldon Richardson for Quentin Nelson. We might have cleared up a little bit of cap. It said we had 22 mil there. But if we go to free agency, doesn't say we have that much. We have eight mil, okay. I mean, Fuller, maybe we could pull this out of the skin of our teeth here. Because um, we just needed to have more points than the Giants. Um, what about if I did, like, 5.7? Um, that's 56 points. I really want Fuller, though. He's also a scheme fit. All right, so I traded Jarvis Landry my third and my fourth for the sixth overall pick in the draft with the Bengals. Yeah, I did trade away Jarvis Landry. I am sorry if you really like Jarvis Landry, but hopefully this clears up enough money so I can now sign Fuller, and then maybe with that pick, I can go out and get Jerry Judy from uh, Alabama to replace him. So Fuller, we are going to definitely improve our offer, going all in on Fuller now. Um, so we should be able to snag him. I'm going to over make sure I definitely get him too. Uh, so that is... Just 70 total points. Hold on. Let me uh, let me definitely give him a better offer. So, yeah, there's a 95 total point offer. We should get him. Um, that is an upgrade for us. Yes, we did lose Richardson, but we did get Quinn Nelson. He was just definitely one of the best guards in the league. Uh, losing Landry hurts, but hey, if I get Judy, I would trade Jarvis Landry a third and a fourth for Judy and Kendall Fuller. Uh, so, we do pick up Fuller. Hope that's Kendall, not Kyle. Uh, I don't think we have enough money to go out and send anybody else. Yeah, we got no money. All right, so I'll see you guys at the draft. All right, so we're here on draft night. We are picking three and six. So let's hope that the Raiders and Dolphins both go quarterback. I don't know if I want to go... Uh... Okay, so they went brown. Can I see, like, the selection so far? Why can't you do that? Like, so you have to actually manually... I'm guessing the Browns... Or not the Browns. The Dolphins took a, uh, a uh, quarterback. So, uh, I am looking to... Do I want to go Judy here? Do I want to go Judy at six? You know what? Because Chase Young would be nice. But we also do need a linebacker. But we also could use the play. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Jerry Judy here. He's definitely one of the best receivers in the draft. He's a 78 overall. Yeah. So he will be a, obviously Landry's replacement. He could be in the slot. I know receivers in the slot do well. Because we also have Higgins. who wasn't bad for us. So I should probably like see who's getting drafted. Uh, Chase Young could be somebody if he's here. He is. Could use a strong safety. We, we actually do have a whole at strong safety. So we also do at linebacker. Like, outside linebacker. But we do have another first-round pick. So, I'm actually going to go Grant Del Pitt out of LSU. So, we are going to draft him. And he's going to be a stud for us. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and then, let's see who our third first-round pick is going to be. We are going to probably use an outside linebacker or a offensive lineman here. Turbert just went to the Broncos. Damn, he fell in these. Why does he never fall when I want a line? Or when I want a, um... When I want a, uh... 
Why can't I think of the word? When I want a quarterback high in the draft, cheese, I can't speak. Uh, why does it say we all have C's? I guess because maybe we just we don't have depth on the squad. Uh, we could use a setter, but more like a tackle. So Andrew Thomas or Anthony Jennings. Do we need a tackle or do we need a lineman more? Uh, or a linebacker more. Okay, so tackle. Yeah, we need tackle pretty badly. Uh, we could. I'm probably just going to move Nelson to right guard. So yeah, tackle is pretty weak here. Um, there's my Wi-Fi. All right, so we're going to protect Baker. We're going to go Andrew Thomas. He'll be a left tackle. So now we really just need a right tackle, and we kind of have a really good offensive line. But yeah, our linebackers are going to be pretty weak. Uh, I doubt Jennings falls to the second round here because I think we just have our pick in the second round. Wow, do we not have it? No, we do have a second. It is the 19th pick. All right. Uh, probably not going to be many good linebackers here. Henry Ruggs is here. Oh, I might go Ruggs. Oh, Terrell Lewis. He looks kind of solid, kind of, uh. He's a late second round grade. Willie Good Jr. Um, he looks, uh, not really worth drafting. Julian Okwara. I feel like these guys are going to be busts. I don't know. Um, Marco Wilson. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to just go Henry Ruggs here. Uh, I feel like I just don't want to mess up this pick, and I know he'll be pretty good for us. So we are going to go Henry Ruggs, or we can go T. Higgins. But we'll go Ruggs. We'll get another Alabama receiver. So, yeah, I kind of like our receiving core. I'll see you guys, I guess, at rookie signing. All right, so we can check out the draft and how it treated us. Uh, Judy, 78. They'll put 78. Thomas, 75. Ruggs, 73. And then we did go... Uh, Kevin Jarvis, Bryson Waynes, and then Demarcus Farrell, 71 overall for a seventh round pick. Not bad. He's a right guard. Could all we could use definitely all the uh, the lineman depth in the world. So I do I need a new kicker and a new punter, but we just have no money. That's the problem. Uh, so especially after drafting these guys, we might just have no money whatsoever. All right, so let's look at our lineup to start the year. Uh, we could generate the best lineup. Okay, so whoa, is that Trent Taylor? My tripping? That's definitely not Trent Taylor. Taewon Taylor. Okay, so. Uh, I want Odell at the one. Uh, actually, I'm going to put Judy at the two. And then we're going to put Ruggs in the slot. I forgot we have Callaway, too. Damn, our receiver or rece our receiving court, geez, I can't speak, is pretty deep. Because um, we have Callaway, Higgins, then we have Najoku. All right, so we have Chubb there. Don't have a backup running back, but injuries are off, so I'm okay with that. Hubbard is eh. But we do have Andrew Thomas there, Batonio, Treader, and Nelson. So definitely an upgraded offensive line this year. Defense, linebacking core is still kind of eh. Uh, we have Avery, Kirksey, Schober. So it's it's all right. Oh, we have... Jeez, where's my thing at? Okay, my game is like lagging. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, so yeah, we have Randall, Kirksey, Schobert, uh, Avery, Del Pitt, uh, Fuller, the new free agency signing, Ward, Greedy Williams, Garrett, Ogin, Ogin Joby. Uh, second D tackle is kind of eh. And then Olivier Vernon, who seems to be regressing. I don't know if I should trade him. I still kind of want to go all in. If I don't know if he's a free agent, but if he is, then we'll obviously trade him. But um, if he isn't, then I might just trade him in the offseason. So I will see you guys at the end of the year, and let's hope that this team can make the playoffs. All right, guys, so we ended the season with an 11-4-1 record. 11-4-1 record. Somehow that didn't get a buy. I mean, I guess not somehow, but I kind of wish that would get me a buy in the AFC, but it is what it is. Uh, we can check out the stats, though, for this season. Wow, the Bengals actually won a division. That's why. They went 13-3. and three. All right, Jarvis Landry was on the better AFC North team. Uh, but there we go, Baker. 4,200 yards, 39 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Love that ratio. Uh, rushing Chubb, 69 yards a game, so improvement from last year. Pretty nice amount to average, too. 11 TDs, over 1,000 yards. Uh, Receiving-wise, there's Odell, Judy, Njoku, Ruggs, six catches. See, not in the slot. Maybe that got messed up. Uh, 10 touchdowns for Judy, though, as a rookie. Blocking, I'm going to guess our right tackle is probably the worst. No. Our center gave up more sacks than our right tackle. Interesting. Uh, Hubbard, he is a former Steeler. Sacks-wise, 11 for Garrett. I gave him a new contract. Vernon is a uh, pending free agent. Um, the Joku, I think, is our best pending free agent. I did re-sign Garrett. And then there's interceptions. All right, so we're taking on, I think it was the 9-7 and seven Texans. I'm kind of hoping we don't lose this. But it's Madden Sims, so I'm going to really face the fact that we do lose. And we lose 37 to 20. Great. So we did all that just to lose in round one, which I, that's what I kind of hate because it's just one game. I mean, that's what kind of makes the NFL so exciting because it's one game. But in Sim and Rebuilds, it's hard because, hey, you get one game and then you're done. You don't even know. Um, so I do want to bring back Njoku, obviously. Uh, we do have a decent amount of cap space. We won't have for free agency, but I do want to obviously make sure I get back to Joku. Give him a lot more than what he wanted, so we, he's going to stay. Vernon, I think I'm going to bring back, but I am going to trade him right away. Uh, so let's offer him this. Please accept this. He's probably not going to accept it. That's what I thought. 
great. Ah, uh, don't want to tag him, so I might just go after him in free agency. All right, everybody else here, really not intriguing to me. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll try to go out and get a new kicker maybe with that money too. Uh, so let's advance the week here. I don't think we have any extra first round picks this year. So let's sign some free. Okay, so we have 19 million cap space. It's not bad. Keanu Neal, we aren't going to need any secondary guys. If we, ooh, this guy looks pretty good. Um, so we don't really need corner help either. Uh, so what I'm going to look for is possibly outside linebacker uh, with this money. Um, Bowser, uh, this guy, he's been also good for me. But the Raiders look like they're going to sign him. Zach Cunningham. All right, we do need another D tackle. That's actually what we need. Uh, Gavin, oh, he's got 90. Okay, so we're going to go after Puna Ford. Cool first name. Um, so we're going to sign him, it looks like. I'm going to go after Vernon, but probably trade him. Uh, where is he at? Is he a left end? He's probably a left end. All right, so we're going to actually offer him a little bit of mount because he's got no other offers. So try to stag him so I can actually go after a good kicker and then maybe a good backup running back. Or we could draft a backup running back. Kicker Will Lutz. I guess we can go for Greg the Leg here on a one-year deal, but I'm going to give him a two-year deal. And then hopefully we have enough money for a punter as well because I do want a new punter. We can get Genie Gangus. It looks like he has, he's got superstar X Factor. So please tell me we have enough money. There we go. So let's hope we go four for four. We sign all those guys, the D tackle, Vernon, um, the kicker and the punter. So let's simulate a week. And do we get all of them? Uh, we do get everybody but Vernon. Um, please tell me Vernon didn't sign with somebody else, but he might've, um, or somebody might've given him goddamn Patriots. Uh, all right, so if we do remove that off, remove the offer, uh, we have 9.6 million. We can go after Muhammad Wilkerson, but he's 31. Uh, we can go after Tyrone Crawford, Adam Gotts is, uh, what about a li outside linebacker? Um, Mark Lee does seem like a scheme fit, so we can go after this guy. Um, we're actually giving him a decent amount of money, so hopefully he's good. He's only 25, so let's advance now next week. We'll see if we get that Lee guy, and then I'll see you guys with what my rookie signings look like, and we do get the Lee guy. All right, guys, so, yeah, outside the first two rounds, picks were kind of uneventful. I did get Zamel McCain, and actually Derek Nixon was really good right tackle. He was, like, ninth in true talent, or in whatever that is, so uh, I'll take that because now he can maybe start over Hubbard. Uh, we can actually just check out the team. Obviously, we have no money. Okay, so we only have one guy to uh, upgrade. So we can actually just advance to the regular season. That's what I've been doing. And I think this team can win a Super Bowl. I thought we were, we were going to at least make the conference championship last year. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. So uh, who can get upgraded? A uh, bunch of guys. Quinton Nelson's a 91. All right, yeah, this team is so good. This team is actually so good. Uh, we got 53 guys here. We have what? A 93 total uh, offense? That's insane. That's insane. Uh, 93 offense, 85 defense. So we can look at the offense here. Nixon, Njoku, Nelson, Treader, Betonio, Thomas, and then we have Odell, Higgins, Chubb, Mayfield. Okay. Judy there. I do want rugs in the three slot. Like, what are we doing? Um, there we go. I want him in the slot. Um, Baker's an 88. Chubb's an 89. Go over the defense. Uh, Randall. Damn, he's regressing. Is he 30? Uh, he's 29. Uh, Lee, Schobert, Avery, Linebacker's still kind of weak. Okay, Joe be Ford there. Um, Thomas. Wait, what about if I put Ogan Joby there? Uh, what about if we did? You know what? This might work a little bit better. Probably not a good idea. Browns fans are probably screaming at me, but we are going to do this. Um, and we're going to put him in that left end. Uh, we have Miles Garrett there, Ward, Williams, and Fuller. And special teams, we do have uh, Dangus, Zerline, and Callaway returning. I think this team can win a Super Bowl. See you guys at the end of the year. All right, so we ended the season 13-3, and three, and we do have a buy in round one. Uh, we will go over the sides. I just want to upgrade all the players. Wow, Ward's going to be a 95. Jeez, that's insane. Yeah, Denzel Ward. A lot of people thought I think they were going to go Chubb in real life, pair him on the other side with Garrett. But Ward is looking really good in real life. So is, uh, well, I think Ward didn't play um, against the, uh, whoever they just lost to, are uh, the Rams, and then, uh, I think Chubb's actually starting off pretty well, but yeah, Baker, 4,100 yards, 41 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, incredible year from Baker, rushing-wise, Nick Chubb, his best season yet, 1,300 yards, 11 touchdowns, Marsh, the backup running back, I took him in the third round, nine touchdowns, Baker had seven rushing touchdowns, Odell, over 1,000 yards, Najoku, 800, Judy, 800, why are they not putting, uh, maybe I have, like, auto coach on or something, because they're not putting rugs in the slot, uh, Sacks, Thomas, 8. Nixon, 6. Defensive side of things, Schobert, 120. Uh, tackles, 14 sacks for Miles Garrett. 8 for Jannard Avery. Um, and then interceptions, 
10 for Ward? What? Okay, I don't... Can you see... Okay, you can't see NFL records. I want to see if that's the record. That might not be the record even close, but that... No, okay, so, yeah. Dem um, Demarcus Lane? Jeez, I, I haven't played Ultimate Team in a minute. Demarcus? Definitely not Demarcus Lane. Sorry, I don't... Now it's going to bother me. I, isn't that... That's Night Train Lane. What is his first name? <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. How did I forget? His first name is Dick. But, yeah, he doesn't even crack here, but, damn, that's a lot. First, like, person, probably maybe in double digits since, like, the 80s or something. I don't know, but, yeah, 10 interceptions. Insane. All right, so let's see who we're going to be taking on in round one of the... Or the second round, the divisional series. Ugh, the Patriots. Uh, so we do have some players to upgrade. Kenny Horton. Wow, I'm glad I'm upgrading him. All right. I I'm guessing they don't have Brady anymore, so maybe we'll beat them. I don't know. Yes! All right, we win 42 to 24. Uh, weekly awards Baker. AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Five passing touchdowns and four sacks for Miles Garrett. All right, yeah, they are carrying us right now so checking out the box score of this game baker five touchdowns zero interceptions they've jacoby percent ended up back on the patriots interesting um so rushing uh chubb 5.7 yards per carry very nice receiving wise he also had a 94 yard touchdown come on so receiving the ball <laughs> antonio brown still in this game um let's check out the browns yes yeah, so back up 93 yards taking 75 okay blocking sacks no sacks allowed defense we know garrett got four sacks um and then denzel ward got an interception but miles garrett's gonna be up to a 97 overall he did have one upgrade point and he is a 96 so take it on the jaguars in the afc conference championship can we go to the super bowl yes we win uh, 28 to 21 oh my god okay so this is the second video in the row i'm going to the super bowl oh my god i'm just scared three touchdowns for baker thank you yep yeah, yeah played fulls all right rush so i guess they don't have Minshew in um, I'm excited for the Jaguars to be able to use him. Uh, Nick Chubb, very good game. He's been killing in these playoffs so far, these uh, first two games. Higgins, 25 yards of reception. Nice. Odell did well. Um, I don't think we got any picks. Who got the sacks here? Gerald Avery. All right. So we're taking on who in the Super Bowl? The Seattle Seahawks. They did make it in season number one. I have no idea who won it last year. Um, they might have won it last year. I might be tripping. So let's advance to the Super Bowl. I'm nervous. Oh, please. I didn't win last one. I want to win it off the set. They were 9-7. and seven. We won 13-3. Okay, Madden, I'm closing my eyes. Please tell me we won the Super Bowl. I'm turning around. Please. I have yet to win a Super Bowl in a rebuild. Come on! Oh, my God. This game hates me. Uh...